guys so today I will be doing my February favorites video and February has honestly been like not so good of a month because of the weather but makeup wise and beauty wise and song wise and like favorites wise it's been amazing for me so yeah let's just go ahead and get started into my favorites okay you guys so I have my favorites in this little Delilah's bag because I'm just cool like that because it's easier for me to pull out so if you hear the bag that's why but my first favorite for this month is a foundation I honestly have so many face products that have been my favorites this month and it is the Revlon nearly naked foundation in the shade 110 or ivory and I've really been liking this foundation because it is so lightweight and so natural and I've been switching to a lot of Revlon foundations because they're so lightweight and I switched from my color stay one because I did run out of that one and it made me kind of look a little bit darker than I was and didn't quite blend but this one is perfect because during these winter cold months I am the palest person on the planet obviously like honestly I am so yeah this is the new Revlon nearly naked foundation that came out in like December or January and it's in 110 ivory and I absolutely love this if you guys would like a review on this foundation please just let me know and to go along with the foundation is actually the powder that they made for it, it is the Revlon nearly naked powder which is it works literally wonders for my foundation that I put on, or uh, specifically the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation. This is in the shade 010 Fair Claire, and I absolutely love this foundation. I mean, <laughs> love this powder. That was totally a fail. And it just looks like this, and the little powder puff thing just fell out, um, but it just comes with a little puff, and yeah... Um, it's so mattifying and it's so creamy. It has like a really like velvety creamy texture to it and I absolutely love it. And I also have another powder which I put in my T-zone because that one powder doesn't say anything about it keeping you matte. So just to ensure that I'll stay matte because I have very oily skin, I go ahead and take my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade um, 001 Transparent. And I absolutely love this powder. It last all day and makes my skin so matte and I'm just in love with it and then next I have yet again another face product and it is a concealer and it's the Maybelline Dream Lumi um that's in Spanish Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer and I absolutely love this concealer it is seriously the bomb.com I use it on my eyes around my nose and one day I didn't feel like putting foundation on um, because again, I don't wear foundation every day, so for those lazy days, I just put this on just to cover up some blemishes. Looks like foundation. Like, they should make a Dream Lumi foundation because that's awesome. And it just looks like this, and I'm in the shade Ivory, I'm pretty sure. It doesn't say it on here, but I know for a fact I am in. This is an Ivory, and it's just like a little thing that you just twist up, and then the concealer comes out right here. As you can tell, I just, like I said, use this under my eyes on my face and it highlights and conceals my um, blemishes and it's absolutely amazing. And then next is actually a hair product and it is my L'Oreal Advanced Hair Care Smooth Intense Frizz Taming Serum. It has up to 72 hours of frizz control and I absolutely love this. I have extremely frizzy hair. Um, like extremely frizzy hair. My hair is really, really curly and not like extreme curls but it's pretty curly slash wavy and when I get out of the shower and it dries naturally or it just I don't even like wash it and it's I have to use this stuff and it's just oh, it's my life and I love this stuff and I use it with the shampoo and conditioner the frizz taming shampoo conditioner and that is absolutely amazing if you guys like a review or my hair care routine please comment down below and next is a eyeshadow trio, and this is from CoverGirl, and this is their Shimmering Sands Trio in the shade 110, and I absolutely love this. I have, I used this in my drugstore makeup tutorial to do a light, smoky, neutral eye, so if you guys would like to go check that out, it'll be linked in the down bar. But this is in Shimmering Sands, and it just comes with three gorgeous colors, a dark shimmery brown, because Shimmering Sands, a light shimmery brown, and kind of a pale nude pink and it's shimmery as well and I absolutely love these colors they're so neutral and they complement my skin tone very well 
And then I have a, another eyeshadow palette, which I may have showed this in January favorites. I think I honestly did. But, um... I, after like the beginning of February towards the middle, I never really used this. I was using my Naked 2. But then towards like the end, I have been using this non-stop. And it is my favorite palette. It is the Stila in the Light palette. And it comes with a brown smudge stick waterproof eyeliner. And I really have been loving Sandstone and Kitten, which are my absolutely favorites. And Bear as well which is honestly amazing. These colors are so gorgeous. I've been loving putting Ebony on my um, lower lash line and is absolutely just love this palette. It is so amazing. It is quite pricey. It's $39 or $40 I'm pretty sure, but I think it's $39, but it is totally worth it. It is an absolutely amazing palette. And then I have a body mist from Victoria's Secret Pink, and this is the Wild and Breezy Body Mist, which I had a um, older packaging of this, and I ran out and I repurchased it not too long ago. This is just the mini travel size because I don't need that much, and it smells honestly so good. I love this. It's my go-to body mist or perfume when I want to smell good, and then I have three more favorites left. This one is a mascara, a fairly new mascara that I'm pretty sure came out sometime last month. And it is by CoverGirl and is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher by Lash Blast. And I absolutely love this one. I love the whole CoverGirl Lash Blast brand. It is absolutely amazing. The wand on it, which I will show you guys now, is absolutely, I'm in love with it. It is so, like, look at that. It can like form to your lashes and it's just like you can really get in there and do your mascara and this is in the shade black and it's waterproof so I absolutely love it. I have two more. My next one is my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade 611 Yogurt and I absolutely love NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils. I own like a thousand and um, this one just has really been my favorite. Like I said it's in yogurt. Of course it's obviously has been talked about. Um, it's so gorgeous. I'll swatch it on my hand. I just am so in love with it like honestly look at that color you probably can't tell because it's so there you go it's right there and it's so pretty and so nude and so neutral and it takes no time so when I just want to slip on eyeshadows it's perfect for that honestly and my last favorite for the month of February is my Revline um what's it called I'm not just in lip butter in the shade gumdrop and this was in my drugstore it's 060 Gumdrop. This was in my drugstore tutorial as well if you guys were interested. And this may look scary, but it's honestly not. It's really just this pretty lilac color. And I absolutely love lip butters. And now that's it for beauty. Moving on to my last favorite. It's actually a song favorite. And you guys, who can I guess? It's Thrift Shop by Malcolm Moore and Ryan Lewis. This is seriously the best album. I mean, the best song in the entire freaking world. And I'm obsessed with it. So I'll let you guys go ahead and hear it. But yeah, that's the song. But yeah, that is my February favorites. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I can't control the way I'm moving my head.